everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss an important use case on data migration tool that we call as configuration migration tool using configuration migration tool you can migrate configurable data from one environment to another environment keeping the primary key or GUID equal or same now the important thing is when you keep the GUID same in multiple environments or across environments, it will preserve the relationship between child entities also or child records also, right? Whenever you create a new record, it creates a new GUID, right? But in some cases for master data handling, you need the same GUID should be preserved, preserved in all environments. So how you can do that using configuration migration tool? Microsoft has already uh, kept this configuration migration tool as a part of SDK. If you want to download in your local system, you can download it. I have already created a blog. If you go to subchip.com and uh, go to blogs, I have already created a blog where I have told you that how to use PowerShell uh, to uh, download the configuration migration tool in your local machine. Once you download this, it will download in your local machine and you can open the app which looks like this okay in case you guys interested to download our mobile application of shopchip learn you can download it free so that you can uh, access all the resources related to power platform and dynamics so let's uh, navigate to the topic so our requirement is let's say i have two environment one is this environment where i have a model driven app and i have an entity called as ssc agreement templates here I have two records, okay. In these two records, they have their own uh, primary key, right? If I'll go to the table, I can check that what is the table and what is the record and their record ID or GYD. This is my source environment, right? So let me navigate to the entity and let's say CC agreement. This is my entity. So when I will open the entity, I can see the records here in Dataverse, right? And I want to check what is the GUID of each record. So this is the data section where it is showing as a preview. And I want to display the GUID for verification purpose. It takes some couple of seconds to populate data here. The, the point here is whenever you create new record, it creates a new GUID, which, uh, which we don't want. We want to keep all records GUID consistent and same across environments. That is the requirement to use configuration and migration tool to keep the master data GUID same to preserve the relationship. Now these are, these are having two records with me in my current source environment. So let me add the GUID to understand name and uh, GUID. Now just check here. This is the name and this is the GUID. So first cost commercial agreement it is showing 3B, 0B or something is the GUID. Residential agreement 47E94 something right. So I want these two records will be created in target environment plus the GUID should be same. If you create new so this is my target environment if i'll go here this is my target environment in this environment right now there is no record in the agreement template but here i have two uh, records but if i'll create these two records manually by using this plus button it will create new GUID. although everything will every da other data remains same but it will create a new GUID which is a primary key right let me create it and show you so I can create a new one. Let's say name I'll give same as the commercial agreement. So I'll just open it and copy this content and paste it here. Okay. And in terms also, I want to copy and paste it here. So I have created a new agreement template in target environment. Let me check what is the GUID generated for this 
So I'll go here in the target environment table and open the same table so that I can check the GUID differences. This is my source environment and this is my target environment. Okay. So I'm just uh, taking you to identify the differences. So go to the table and again search the table agreement template. If you open the agreement template, and check the data section or table data or column section you will find one record that is created but let us check the primary key that is generated i have created manually just remember so i am expecting guid is different commercial agreement so let me add the guid just switch off all and select name and Now here you see in the target environment the GUID of this commercial agreement record is 8121 something right but in source environment it is something else 3B0B why because you have created a new record and the uh, fundamental concept of Rataverse is whenever you create a new record using power apps it creates GUID automatically GUID value primary key but I don't want because it is my master data I want to keep the same ID across the environment. So what I can do, I'll delete this. And instead of creating new one, I will use configuration migration tool to migrate this agreement template data from source to environment. So to do that, I will go to here and create a schema. Click on continue. Here you need to connect your environment, source environment. Click on display list of available environments or organizations. Click on login. Use the same credential you log in your Power Platform. And choose the source environment first. My source environment is Copilot Test. So this one I will use and click on login. Once I log in the source environment, I can choose which entity I want to move it. By default, it will display default solution in your uh, drop down, but you can change the solution in, if you want to change it. If you use default solution also, there is no issue, but it is best practice to use your own solution. My solution is called as property management. So let me check if I have that solution here. This one, SSC property management. In this solution, I have an entity called as customer agreement template. So I'll click this and choose the entity SSC agreement template. This is the entity that I want to move it. So I'll select all columns and add fields and click on save and export. When save and export, you have to give a name, let's say template give a name agreement template and store it and it is asking the schema saved complete would you like to export the data yes i want to export the data also so when, once you click on yes it will ask you to choose a location where your data will be saved so choose a location in the desktop only i want to save the data zip file so it will create a zip file where click on the export data it will create a zip file where it will store all the data of that selected entity and the schema. Now export is done. So click on exit. So a creating schema is done. Exporting data is done. Now I want to import data to target environment. So click on continue. And here I will again log in. But this time I will choose target environment where I will migrate. So this is my target environment. So click on login. And once it is login, I can choose the data file that is downloaded. This is the data file that is exported. So once you select 
click on import data once you click on import data it will migrate the master data of the selected entity to target environment keeping the GUID same that was my motto right it's not that uh, uh, I have some other thing to do the GUID should be same that was the requirement why I am using configuration migration tool otherwise there are many other ways I can create import there are many other uh, data um, uh, movement or ETL tools so click on exit once it is done now I can verify I'll go to the environment this is the environment and refresh it I can see the two records available but is the GYD is same. Let us check. Go to the table in target show, target environment, and refresh it. Now this is my target environment, which whose name is Dev Box Subchief. So let me check the uh, GYD of both record and check the source environment GYD records. This is my source record. Commercial means 3B, residential agreement means 47. Let me check in the target environment. Now, let me check commercial 3B, residential 47. Just I am uh, telling you the first two digit of GYD just to uh, check so here also let me check it you see guys commercial agreement 3b 0b residential agreement 47e9 here also the same so both record is imported with same GYD that was my motto I hope you understand why we are using migration tool configuration migration tool thank you guys next time See you next time. Bye everyone.